are keeping the Bioform ships at bay, but they can't hold them off forever. I'm getting remote telemetry from the away team tricorders. I recognize that anywhere. Our warp core resonant frequency is one of the readings. They're bleeding astride. But they're not just taking our power, they're routing it through the Cartabula. That's the Resolute's warp core resonant frequency. And these others? That frequency matches the Titan's warp core resonance. These two are the Kimball and the Lowell. They're both Steamrunner class. Same engine platform. They're just tuned a little differently. I must be getting information from the bioforming, but this warning. It means that it's struggling with the power stacked up at close frequencies. The Cartabula can't handle the dissonance? Maybe. This is Westbrook. Are you reading these Starfleet engine signatures? We are. And you need to see this. The Steamrunner class frequencies are causing problems for the Aphelion's energy source. Sending visuals now. They're vulnerable. We have to use this. You can break a wine glass if you play the right note loud enough. Sir? The Takan are so arrogant. They're letting us right in the front door with this energy drain. We can tune our warp core output to those frequencies. Get all our ships to do the same. Push it to maximum levels and we might be able to crack the wine glass, the Cartabula, and take their ship offline. There is merit to the theory. But if we attempt this, it would preclude any other course of action. It'll work. It has to. If this is going to succeed, we'll need all Starfleet ships to pitch in. We aren't alone anymore. We need to leverage that. I will create a high-energy static warp shell. We'll need the away team to guide us to the right frequency. We read you, Resolute. You're putting a lot of faith in us, Captain. That's a hell of a plan. We don't want to let you down. I've got faith in you, and the rest of this crew. Now let's give him hell. Yes, Captain. I found an ejector team for the Cartabula. So we can disengage it, just like we did with the Zeldi's warp cores. Yeah, but it'll only activate if this thing gets completely overloaded. So we gotta take it right up to the edge of destruction. We are increasing the warp core resonant frequency now. Destroyed. 
everything I've waited for. If that thing wants to take over, it's going to have to go through the both of us. And I'm not going to let that happen. You hear me? I'm gonna fight it right along with you, Carter. You can help me get the job done. That's the fight that matters most. But it's not the only one. Is something wrong? No, no, we're, we're fine. Do you see our output frequency changing? We do. What is the impact on the Aphelion systems? Keep it up, Resolute. It's starting to work. They're taking the bait. Now we need the rest of the fleet. Open a channel to anyone left on our side. Opening a channel. This is the Resolute. We're sending instructions to all ships to output maximum warp power at the designated frequency. We believe this will disable the Aphelion. We don't know that. All we know is it'll siphon off our energy much quicker. You're leading us to disaster. Are you out of your mind? That has given them exactly what they want. You can't just expect us to turn belly up. Our strength in Starfleet comes from our ability to work together, especially when everything is on the line. I can get behind that, Captain Rydek. We're adjusting the Titan's warp output to match the Resolute. Just the rest of you do the same. That's it. They're falling in line. Takahashi. Adjusting our engines now. Our tabula. It's compensating. Counteracting our interference. But some of these other frequencies are causing spikes too. I'm gonna find a new target range for the resolute. Try this out. Here. This one's hitting the hardest. If they all converge here, it'll provide the maximum disruption to the Cartabula. Got it. We want to overload this thing, push it to the brink, but not past it. You sure about this frequency? If we go too far, we won't just be destroying the Cartabula. We're going to take a lot more with us. I'm sure. I bet my life on it. It's all our lives. Sending data to the Resolute. We are now running our core at 105% of recommended capacity. If we try to meet that frequency, we will generate a harmonic imbalance of our own and risk a warp core breach. I must warn you, these are precisely the engine conditions that Captain Solano's experiment brought about. Runaway reaction is a dangerous possibility right now. We can't afford to start second-guessing ourselves. 
Thank you, Mr. Chobok. But I'm not Solano, and this is no experiment. I need you to match the frequency and increase the output. Very well, Captain. not going to eject. We have to disengage the cartabula manually. We lit this fuse. We've got to make sure it doesn't go up the wrong way. If we can pull hard enough on those levers, it'll dislodge this thing. down. Returning warp reactor to nominal output levels. The Takan are running off reserve power now. I saw what you did, the sacrifice you made. Radiation levels are spiking. It's coming from the Cartabula. He must have damaged it. He didn't get it out before it fractured. It's cracked, but we're still here. We didn't rip a hole in space itself. So, not the worst that could have happened. <laughs> That's great, but it's still a problem. Three to beam back to the Resolute. We can't lock on. Our transporters won't cut through the interference. We can't stay here.
We're not getting away in that thing. There. Maybe I can use this to get us out of here. I don't know if it can get us back to the Resolute, but we have to get away from here. Everybody on! Radiation's lower here, but still too high for us to stay on this ship. This is good. We can do better. <coughs> and soon, I hope. We gotta get all the way to the Resolute. Bridge will bring it down. Take us real close, Captain. Skim the hull of that thing where it can't get a clear shot at us. Or. Or. I can weave us through the battle. And hope we don't get caught in the crossfire. I don't want to get too close to that thing. Take us along the Aphelion's hull. Get us to the bridge as fast as you can. Aye, Captain. in position for a shot at the bridge. Photon torpedoes armed and ready. <coughs> Break off this attack, or I will be forced to eradicate you. The Aphelion is still filling with lethal amounts of radiation, but it seems to be contained within the ship, for now at least. But they have comrades on that ship, both living and waiting to be reborn. We're going to die in here if I don't care. Never submit to your federation. We are taking our rightful place as rulers over this. Radiation poisoning is a terrible way to go, but it doesn't have to be that way. We can render aid to your crew. Uh, no, we've crossed the eons to get here. I won't stop now. Fire salvo! Too. Targeting the Resolute? I can't let you do that. Get on. Damn it. I can't hold on to it. I have to make manual adjustments to enhance the signal pattern from here. What do you mean? I'm not gonna make it out. No way. We're all leaving together. We've been through too much to split up. We don't leave people behind. Got it? I'm really sorry, Neely. I'm not gonna be able to go with you. But I have to get you back. Please. If you said that we'll be stuck here, give it to me, and I will save us, not them. Stop it. <laughs> What's happening? It's an internal struggle, and he's losing. Not like this. It's the Takan. In my head, it's trying to keep me from sending you back. There has to be a way for you to... There isn't. The time is now.
The away team has beamed back. We're in position and ready to fire, Captain. Remember when I said you'd be begging us for mercy one day? This is that day. Please, Wahida. Target the ship. Pummel it to space dust. Like we did to so many others who dared to confront the Takan. Fire. All decks secure. We have the bioformed on board, fully contained. The Starfleet ships under Takan control have signaled their surrender. Good work, Captain Ryder. Next time I need some backup, I'll know who to call. I trust you won't have a problem with that. Hopefully that doesn't happen for a while. I think we all have some patching up to do. Out here, things rarely wait for you to be ready. But from what I've seen, you're ready for anything. Captain, we're being hailed. It's the Aphelion. On screen. <coughs> the radiation. We... <coughs> we won't last much longer in here. Please, we surrender. We need your help. Please, people, support your ship. I know what they've done, Captain, but we can't let them die. There are enemies today, but who knows what they could become. You already offered help and they turned you down, tried to destroy us. Why reach your hand out to them again? It's what we do. This is the fate they've chosen. Leave them where they are. You can't do that. <coughs> we don't have much time. Submit. I don't, I don't know what else I can say. Please. We don't want to die. This is what separates us from them. The fact that we can make a gesture of peace even after all our conflict. Set up containment fields in the docking bay and beam the Takan there. Crew of the Aphelion, shut down all systems. Lower your defenses and prepare to be transported. Thank you. Carter! 
Okay. I... First order of business will be to help reestablish the Hotari government and resume peace talks, genuine talks, with the Olivians. And after that? Who knows? I know I don't want to be queen. There's so much good I could do with just a fraction of your medical technology if I could bring it to my people. But I also want to see what else is out there. Maybe there's even a place for me in Starfleet. It would be hard to stay on Hotari forever. Not with all there is to experience, to learn. There are many ways to help your people, and healing them is a very noble way to do so. I'll see to it that Starfleet sends a medical ship to share knowledge and technology, as long as you'll be there to spearhead their efforts. I'll gladly accept those terms. But there are pressing matters we must attend to before any of that. I can't thank you enough for all you've done. I'll see you again. Starfleet has granted me the privilege of conferring this upon you. Though I'm sure Captain Solano would rather have been the one offering this. You have acted dutifully and bravely through trying circumstances I grant you the official rank of Captain. I believe a great many wonders lie ahead for you, Jara Rydek. There appears to be nothing that can stand in your way. Live long and prosper. Peace and long life. Victory. Peace. These things never come without a cost. For some, it requires putting aside centuries of enmity. For others, it takes facing complicated losses. Jakarta. How do you say goodbye to someone who isn't really gone? <sighs> I thought I knew how to leave the past behind, but uh, I've learned a thing or two. And for too many, they had to pay the ultimate price. In time, History may forget their sacrifices, but those of us who were there never will. Now, all hands honor the dead. Captain Solano used to say that nothing ever stays the same. Entropy. It's the nature of the universe. As such, the crew of a starship can never stay the same. But while Entropy says that order inevitably gives way to chaos, this crew has only grown stronger. More cohesive and coherent.
bound by our shared struggles. And working together, helping each other, we're able to do more than we'd ever imagined. Some of our differences couldn't be resolved, but perhaps that too can change in time. Make way. Space, the final frontier. As we take our next steps into the unknown, the greatest insights that lie ahead are what we learn about each other. We might even surprise ourselves. And no matter what threats we may come upon, or mysteries we face, we will not be shaken. We are stronger together. We are steadfast in our purpose. We are resolute.